Good day everyone and welcome to another TV box review. Today I'm taking a look at an entry level box called the T95M TV box. Inside this box we have the Amlogic S905 processor, 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. This box also has Bluetooth. As always I left some links in the video description if you wanna check this box out. Next I wanna show you what comes in the box with this and then I'm gonna show you how the box performs. If you find my videos useful consider pressing the like button and subscribing. Let's begin. The T95M comes in this box right here on the front of the box we just have a picture of the TV box and that's about it, no other information onto the box. Inside the box you'll find the remote control, it's the same remote control that we see on most of these TV boxes, it does take two AAA batteries, however I do recommend using a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse with this TV box for a better experience. Next uh, we get a HDMI cable and the user manual. The user manual is in uh, multiple languages and it does have a couple of pictures so if this is your first TV box uh, it will be useful. And lastly the power adapter that comes with the box is the same power adapter that we find on most of these TV boxes. The T95M it's made of plastic entirely and doesn't look too bad. On the back of the box we have um, where the power adapter goes, the AV output, the internet port, the HDMI port and the optical audio. On to this side here we have two other uh, USB ports, an OTG port and the SD card slot. The T95M does have a small LCD and on the LCD there we can see the clock if the box is connected to the Wi-Fi or through a wired connection, if there is a USB stick uh, connected then we also have a blue LED that uh, is on whenever the box is on. Unfortunately this box does not have a power on off button. For the duration of this review I will be using this wireless keyboard and mouse and I left a link in the top right corner if you wanna check this uh, keyboard out. For playing games I will be connecting this uh, Bluetooth gaming controller, this is a Xiaomi Bluetooth gaming controller and I left a link uh, in the top right corner of the video if you wanna check this out. As soon as we turn on the box we get to this uh, boot up animation. I've seen this boot up animation before for a TV box that was called the Q box. So this is the name of the box T95M. And this is their launcher as soon as the box starts up. So first of all let's go to the settings app. So here at the settings app we can just go to display and check out the screen resolution. So the screen resolution currently it's at 1080p and that's the maximum resolution that uh, it's supported by my uh, TV. Let's check out the sounds, I'm pretty sure we'll have the usual stuff uh, out here, so yeah, the usual uh, digital sounds that you can select. Next let's go to apps, here at apps um, we're just gonna see if we can uninstall Kodi. So yeah, we can easily press uninstall and uninstall Kodi and I also see a Kodi update, I'm not sure what that is yet, but we'll uh, definitely check that out. Let's check out the languages very quickly. So I'm just gonna scroll uh, down through them, hopefully you see the one uh, that you're interested in. So quite a few languages like most of these uh, TV boxes. So a lot, a lot of languages and that's the end of the languages. Next uh, let's go to more settings and uh, the more settings here at storage. We're gonna check out the available space, so the available space at this particular time it's 4 gigs out of the 8 that uh, come onto the box. So that's uh, everything that uh, we get. And if I go at about media box here, we can see the Android version which is 5.1.1 and also the model number T95M 2G, I'm not sure what the 2G is from because this box has 1 gig of RAM I believe. But we'll uh, check that uh, shortly. Now let's check out and see what apps come pre-installed uh, to this. So we do get the browser, Dropbox, Facebook, Film On, this code the updater that I'm not sure what it is, the Play Store, Netflix, and that's about it. Now the black bar at the bottom of the screen, this one here, the navigation bar. If you hide this, I 
wasn't able to find a way to actually bring it back up I had to reset the box so yeah I, I cannot uh, get this uh, bar back no matter uh, no matter what I do that is unfortunate but it is what it is so you will have to reset the box if you want to bring this uh, black bar back up okay so let's open Cody this uh, box comes with Cody 16 I did open the Play Store however um, I cannot update uh, Kodi from the Play Store. So I'm gonna go to System Info just so you can check out a couple of things here. So uh, this is the maximum uh, resolution, storage and uh, that's the available RAM. So I do believe that this box has 2 gigs of RAM. I was under the impression that it only has 1 gig of RAM. However, it seems that it has 2 gigs of RAM. So let's go to videos here. Let's go to add-ons. And these are all the add-ons that come pre-installed uh, with the box. So quite a few add-ons. I'm just gonna open this one uh, here. We'll uh, see something live, uh, I believe. Let's try this one right here and see if it works. Just so you have a better idea how Kodi goes. So it did start uh, right away and it did, does seem to go uh, quite smooth uh, as well so uh, we'll uh, stop this so yeah this is just so you have a better idea how Kodi will work onto this box Kodi update uh, that comes pre-installed uh, will basically install add-ons onto the box so you just uh, click on it and then uh, it will download uh, the add-ons and uh, install them on top of uh, the configuration that you already have on Kodi Unfortunately, I wasn't able to run Antutu onto this box, but on the Geekbench 3 we get a multi-core score of 1744 and a single core of 607. Here we can see some more information about the box, like the RAM and uh, the model number. The CPU Z app will just confirm what we already know about the box. So the Amlogic uh, processor and the total RAM it's 2 gigs. And here we can see the temperature of the box and it currently it's at 63 degrees. On the iStorm Extreme we get a score of 4299 and this is a pretty good uh, score. And down here we can see some more information about the score. On the Speedtest app on a wired connection through my power line adapters I use some D-Link power line adapters so I was able to get a speed of 93 for downloads. And on Wi-Fi of 26. Now 26 is not the best, but it is better than most of these TV boxes because most of them have uh, trouble connecting to my router that's quite far from the box. So 26, I would say it's a decent speed for this uh, particular TV box. Since the box comes pre-installed with Showbox, I'm just gonna open a random uh, movie from here just so you have an idea how well uh, it streams. Currently, I'm connected uh, through a wired connection to the internet. So it did start uh, quite fast. Let me skip uh, a bit forward. It is a bit difficult to skip forward because of that uh, navigation bar. So if I hide the navigation bar, I can probably skip forward now. So yeah, that navigation bar, uh, even though it's useful, it's uh, not uh, totally the best. So yeah, the movie seems to go uh, quite good, it stopped uh, to buffer for a quick second, but after it buffers once, uh, it does seem to go quite good. I have a USB stick connected to the box, I have a few files here, the first one it's a 4K file, so we'll see how this one uh, does onto this box. So it does seem to go extremely, extremely good. Um, most of these boxes with Amlogic S905 uh, do really, really good for this file. So this one works uh, really good. The next one it's gonna be a H265 file. We'll see how this one does and uh, it should be absolutely fine with no issues whatsoever. And as I was expecting it's uh, going great. Now this is another 4K file filmed with my Samsung phone. Um, let's see how this one uh, plays onto the box. So it does seem to go uh, extremely good as well. So this box it's uh, it's doing really good for uh, all the video formats that we've tried uh, so far. So yeah, this file also works. Um, now this is a 
bit of a difficult file here so let's see how this one will do I'll skip forward uh, just a bit so I'll skip around here so you can see some uh, movement and surprisingly this one does extremely good as well so up till now uh, all the files have done uh, really really good this one stalls a bit if you've noticed so it's not totally totally smooth but uh, yeah most of these DVD boxes have uh, issues playing this file now a 720p file will go uh, very very good I have no doubt so I'll just uh, skip forward and as I was expecting this one it's uh, doing fine and the last one it's a 1080p file and this one I'm 100% sure that uh, it will be fine as well so I'm just gonna skip forward and as I was expecting uh, this one does uh, good as well so all the files that we've tried worked really really good onto this box and I'm quite impressed with this uh, chip box I have a 500 gig hard drive connected to the box I'm just gonna play one of my own videos the same video that I always play uh, onto these uh, type of videos uh, just so we can see if the hard drive actually works uh, correctly with, uh, with the box some of these TV boxes don't give uh, enough power to those USB ports so I'm just gonna skip forward a bit more but yeah, it uh, seems that it goes uh, very very good and just waiting for these people to jump and uh, there they go yeah so hard drive connected to this box will do fine as well I have the Xiaomi Bluetooth controller connected to the box and I am playing with it uh, right now As you can probably tell uh, the game does, uh, does go extremely well So no issues uh, whatsoever. The Amlogica 905 it's a pretty good processor and uh, most of the games seem to do quite well uh, on it. Even higher uh, intensive games like uh, GTA. I have the YouTube app open. I'm gonna open uh, one of my own videos. We'll check out the maximum uh, resolution. So pressing the HQ button right here, unfortunately didn't let me do that let's try that again so pressing the HQ button the maximum resolution available um, it's 720p even though the box uh, supports 1080p however at 720p the video seems to go uh, quite smooth it is unfortunately that uh, we cannot select uh, 1080p though now to conclude this video I wasn't expecting this box to go as good as um, it went uh, most of the games uh, applications and everything uh, seemed to go extremely extremely good so that was quite unexpected if you don't like the stock launcher that comes with it you can always um, install something like Nova launcher so very very easy to do and uh, you don't really have to do that much and this uh, changes the way your uh, box looks Unfortunately that black navigation bar at the bottom of the screen it's a bit difficult um, to bring back up and you do have to restart the box for that uh, to show up. So that is unfortunate. And other than that everything seems to go uh, quite well. The Antutu benchmark scores uh, were pretty pretty decent and overall I think this is a very very good uh, TV box to get considering its low price and its uh, really good performance. Alright guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.